Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. From wherever you are around the world. I'm here again to show you uh, this uh, the way I made this uh, bridal attire, the traditional bridal attire. I made it with Asha OK. It's still in the process anyway, so I just want to show you some few few things that you need to know about it. So uh, when I started, I started by making my pattern and then for this uh, okay let me let me let me show you the quantity I use for this uh, particular dress. So this uh, this one is the plain actual okay. cake. And I use uh, I, I got two of these, two of these, and then this one, the stripe one, I got four of these. So two of this one for the skirts, and then the remaining two in this part is for gele, which is the headgear and the pele. If you are conversant with uh, Nigerian traditional attire, you know what is called gede and the gede. So this one is set aside for the two. So I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to keep it somewhere. And I'll be working with uh, two of this and then two of this for the dress. So now, now I've started the cutting and in fact I made some sewing. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far so that you can see it. So I started by making patterns for the top, for the upper part. So this is uh, this is uh, I use this my pattern for this upper part, and the the dress is going to be high neck. The the bride shows high neck, so. Uh, I, I made an high neck dress for her and I'll be showing you so this one this one goes like this and then this one is the pattern for the high neck so it's going to be to be something like this it's going to stay like this so let me show you what I've done so far that you'll be able to know then the back, the back is just the normal Number back anyway, so let me place let me place it this way and arrange it and be able to see what I'm trying to say. Look at that and this one. Okay, there should be an overlapping here because of the part of the zip allowance. So and this one. Like this, and uh, and this, this is going to be like this, and this one like this. So this is what we are going to have as this style. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I think uh, can you see? So this is the hand. This is how it's going to stay. So, and uh, for the for the sleeve, I'll be cutting the sleeve later, and I'll show you. So, for the skirt, for the skirt part, uh, I've done something already, and uh, I would like to show you. It's it's a layer skirt. The front part has layers, and this is the 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 first layer of the skirt in the front, the front part, and then I have uh, I have this this to cover and this one. It's a drape skirt. I've done the draping. I'll show you the pattern I made for the drape so that you'll be able to see. So this is the drape. It's going to be like this, like this. I believe you are getting it now. This 
is it. And this uh, this open part, I will be using this applique on it. So I will just go ahead and bring this uh, this pattern out, this area. I will just go ahead and bring this one out. Then put it here just to fill up this space. I don't know if you can see, let me place it at the center that I can see very well. Can you see? So this is what it's going to be like. Can you see? And it's going to be very beautiful. Uh, this uh, other area, I'm going to pick up this place for this particular part and then whatever is remaining all these uh, little, little 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 patterns so i'm going to bring them out then use it for the sleeve of the top so that's how we are going to go about this one and then uh, let me just show the back of this uh, skirt it does the normal back with a, a slit so i won't be showing you that until i finish it then you see the back so the pattern I cut for the for this drape, the pattern for this drape, this drape is something like this. Can you see? Something like. one i was able to at least come to this uh, this place so i was able to turn to this side and this one like this but on the paper so it was almost straight so i was able to bend this one towards the direction i wanted them to be but i could not do that on the paper so don't worry whenever you're cutting your paper pattern and it's not really setting just make sure it's, uh, you drape it then when you come to the fabric it's, everything will fall into place so I think uh, that is how far we have done for now. I will go ahead and uh, this one I'm going to line it ahead. So I can show you something. So after I have done the draping, I just uh, I apply my hem gum. I just put my hem gum. So by the time I finish putting the lining, I will just have to fix the lining just for it to be very neat. And when I fix the lining, this edge I'll see I'll see put uh, I'll see apply my hem gum so that everything will be flat. So when I, so when I'm done with the lining, I'll just iron this one, iron it, make it very flat. Then the hem gun will hold it in place. So it's going to hold it in place so that it's not going to scatter. Then another thing, if you are cutting something like this one, make sure you drape it like this first. Then whatever shape you have like this, then you cannot cut the lining that same way. Don't cut your lining like this, but cut it after you have gotten the shape you want so that the lining will be this shape and this one will stay in place but if they are all moving together there's a there's probability that your drape will, will scatter it up but if you have you have done your drape then you apply the lining so the drape will stay so that's that's it for now just go ahead and continue my work so at interval i'll come and show you whatever i've got so it's taking